From the late 1800s through the early 1900s, steamboats were the primary mode of transportation on Maine's Moosehead Lake. At one point, dozens of these wooden vessels plied its waters, shuttling visitors, workers, and supplies to summer resorts and logging camps. Today, only one remains afloat. Built in 1914, the Katahdin, or Kate as she is affectionately known, once ferried summer guests to and from the famous Kineo House Resort and other lake outposts. In later years, the Kate served as a working vessel, pulling log booms across the lake to the head of the Kennebec River. When the log drives ceased in 1975, the Katahdin sat idle for many years before finding yet another purpose, this time as a cruise vessel. Today, you can visit the Kate at her berth in downtown Greenville, adjacent to the Moosehead Marine Museum. And if you're lucky, you might get to meet Rocky Rockwell, one of her captains and a man who has had a long relationship with the venerable vessel. I've lived here in Greenville my whole life up till now, so it the exposure to the woods and Moosehead Lake were right from the first things I remember. When I got out of high school, I started working on the, on the log drive. And the first couple years on that was just spent wading through the water, picking wood off the shore. I'm like, wow, this is gonna be a trip, holy smokes. What is this gonna, you know, turn into? So from time to time, when the boat would come over, uh, there'd be light of man. You could, I'd, I'd jump on, I'd go, well, I'll go with you guys. I would hook up with my normal crew in a day or two. So when I first started, again, in the, in the late 60s, there was no thoughts of it. It was just a way of life. You know, it had been done for generations. Went to the closest running body, running stream or body of water and put their wood in it and floated it to their mills. Things were changing. So we were the last ones to go. We held out until 75 here on Moosehead, 76 on the river below the forks. Wood coming down the rivers was over with. It's one of those jobs I had, if I had a chance to do it again, I'd do it for nothing. It was a lot of fun.